Microsoft is down. Guys, let's think about this. Who, why now? Why? Who gains the benefit? Well, guys, let's talk about this. First of all, thank you so much for getting in the comments and saying I should do a Microsoft video. On this platform and our other platform, guys, we've had so many questions about this Microsoft incident. You know, I'm trying to pack my camping stuff, but guys, you know, I'm here for you. Anyway, so guys, look back through my videos uh, when we were talking about this, Andrew, when I first did the video on the Andrew Bridgen interview. What did he say on the Andrew Bridgen interview? He said that, you know, war is likely to be declared July, August, maybe a little bit later. I said, guys, my money is on something happening when the kids break up for school, when, as soon as the summer holidays start. And this is what you're seeing now. It's come out, uh, Microsoft have come out and they've said it's a third party, this cyber problem, they've said it's come out and it's a third, due to a third party contractor or something. I can't remember the exact terminology. But guys, just before I go on with this video and just before we get into the nuts and bolts of this and the why, the how, the where, the who, no private company is ever, ever going to admit that they've been victim of a cyber attack. So whether this is true or not, it, you know, it kind of doesn't matter. Imagine, let's just go down the opposite road for a moment. Let's just say, let's just say that Microsoft came out, whoever the CEO of Microsoft is, they came out, they said, you know, hey everyone, you know, we have come under a cyber attack. Microsoft is no longer secure. People can hack us. Do you, think, do you think people will still use Microsoft as an operating system? How much money do you think that one statement would lose? So it's never going to happen, guys. You know, uh, you know they'll always blame an update, a uh, system update, um, a third party involvement. You know, it will always be something else. And the reality is, I don't know. I wouldn't even know what I was looking at, even if I saw the code, you know. Um, and, and the amount of people at Microsoft who know what is happening, it will be very, very small because this uh, incident, it will be identified to a server. Um, those servers will have limited access. Only trusted people will go in to interrogate those servers to see what's happened. And that person will be under strict non-disclosure agreements. You know, they will only, uh, you know, they'll only deal with the really high echelons of Microsoft. And uh, let me share this with you quickly, guys. Where are we? Here we are, guys. So Microsoft blames third party, but says resolution is forthcoming. So it's easy to blame the third party. You know, they've not, nothing else has come out about this. You know, they just blame the third party and say, you know, that if I hang on, let me see if it's come out. No, it's not out yet. Uh, Microsoft, Microsoft has said a resolution for Windows devices is forthcoming but said a third party was at fault after it issued an update. In a statement, no, it does not say anywhere the name. Right, guys, so it doesn't say the name of the third party. That could mean anything. It could be code, it could, we don't know what it means. Right, why now? What did I say, guys? I said, you know, when the summer holidays start, these sort of, you know, if it is a cyber attack, these sort of things, you know, they add to that cauldron of chaos. You've got every man and his dog wanting to go on holiday right now. You've got planes that are grounded. You've got trains that can't move. Um, the, I, I turned on the news. It's funny, actually. I turned on the news this morning and um, the news would have come on and there was like a warning sign. I said to my little girl, I said, oh, it's not on. She said, daddy. I, she said, what's wrong? And I said, aliens, because we always blame aliens. But anyway, so... Everything operates on Microsoft. Everything operates on Windows. It's kind of the operating system for everything. Now, the golden standard with all these cyber attacks, the golden standard, guys, okay, Jimmy, <clears throat> is to create a bank run. I was, I was considering it early on, and I may go down and get some cash out the bank now, but can you imagine if all the till systems that operate on Microsoft go down? Can you imagine all the third-party devices that you pay with your card, those little card machines that you plug in? They're all configured by Microsoft. If Microsoft goes down, if it stops working, guys, it, it's almost as bad as the whole internet going down. So let's look at the timings. The timing when I said it would happen, round about the summer holidays, 
guys, we're just seeing the beginning of this. You know, we're just seeing the start of these things. Nobody knows what's happening. There's been emergency meetings held. I personally, if you're asking my personal opinion, with the timing, with the severity, with what's happening around the world, I would say 100% this is, again, my speculation, I'd say this is a cyber attack. We're not going to know what it is until a few, you know, we, we may never know because, you know, there's been a few incidents, you know, there's been a few other incidents that have happened and, you know, the media just don't report on them and the media won't report on them because, there's something in the, uh, you know, in these media, um, in the echelons of the media, where the government just said, right, don't report on them. What am I talking about? I'm talking about the food shortages that have been in the UK for a while. You know, there's been lots of times I've gone into the supermarket and the shelves have been empty. This doesn't usually happen. This is not a thing that usually happens, you know. So we know that there's media blackouts on certain things. The riots in Leeds, you know, these things are reported a certain way by the media. Look at the Trump shooting um, a couple of days ago. When this first happened, some of the media, some of the mainstream media were coming out and they were saying, well, what did they say? Trump whisked off stage after loud popping noises or something like that. You know, can, can you see where I'm going, guys, all right? The media don't report on certain things because they're told not to report on certain things because they have to have a certain agenda because all these media companies and the, um, you know, and the government, they're all aligned by financing and who pays who, who pays for who and who votes for who. <clears throat> You know, so all this sort of stuff kind of comes into that whole cauldron of chaos I was talking about. I said it in my last video, guys. I don't think this is the end. I think this is just the beginning. From this morning, you're seeing escalations. And guys, you know, I think the next week ahead, and what do we always say? We always say things happen on a Friday. The stock market, if you're betting for or against some shares going up or down, you can manipulate that if you know this is coming. So if this is a foreign, I don't know, a foreign um, adversary attack, a hack, why wouldn't that person make some money? For example, and I'm just speculating, some basement in North Korea has done this. Okay, they put a load of money on Microsoft shares going south, or they put a load of money on another and something else going north. When this incident happens on a Friday, the market has less time to adjust because Saturday, Sunday, it's closed, then it reopens on a Monday. So this is why you normally see these things happening. Also, there's less people to deal with these problems. In the UK, we've got a really nice day today. It's like the first day, of, probably the only day of summer that we're going to get, you know, where it's not raining. And everybody's going to want to go to the pub. Everybody's going to want to go out. That means your police, your firemen, your ambulance, your services, your engineers, your um, IT guys, they're all going to want to go home. So you've got less people to deal with these problems. That's why things happen on a Friday, guys, you know, and people say, oh, you know, and then, you know, they name these world incidents that like a couple of them that didn't happen on a Friday. I'm like, OK, I'll just look through time, all the stuff that happens on a Friday. And, it, and it's for that reason, guys. So. That's my Microsoft update. I can't give you much information on it at the moment because not much information's out. All I can do is speculate. The timing, the scale, and what it's affected, transport, international transfer, uh, international transport, international transfers, it all points to me to a cyber attack. Nobody's ever got, no private company is ever going to admit to a private attack, uh, a private a cyber attack, or they're going to lose so much money. Guys, I'm going to finish packing for our camping trip. I'll speak to you later.